in order for you to be conscious, you need to be alive. Yeah. Yes? Yeah, and in correct. order for you to be alive, your vital organs are necessary. Yes. Correct. Sorry, the functioning of your vital organs need to be there. Okay. Because if any of your vital organs stop functioning, yes? Yeah. Regardless of whether your brain, your heart or whatever it is, all of this, they work together in order for you to be, remain alive. But are you talking conscious as in awake or no, consciousness no, no. Alive. as in your sense of yeah, self? Alive. You, if you are alive, then you're conscious. But, okay, but answer the question. Your degree of consciousness might differ when you're in a vegetative state. As you are, for example, if you are, if you are not in that state, maybe you're, 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 I don't know, sometimes it's very different. The reason those people are kept alive for many years is because they have the hope that one day this person will gain full consciousness. Yes? So that's why we don't call them dead, we call them alive still. The reason they're kept alive, and it might be through an artificial, I don't know, uh, system that they're kept alive, not necessarily uh, the, the way you and I uh, would be functioning if we are not in that state. Okay? So my point is very clear. The first point which I asked him, which he was unable to answer, is do you have empirical evidence for your consciousness? Okay? So you cannot go to a lab, you cannot go to a lab and you can check under a microscope, oh look here's a brain, I can see my consciousness in that. Can I ask you a no question? No scientist though? will can say I that. ask you a question though? You're arguing with so much certainty about something so uncertain. And I'm, I just want to know where that comes from. Like where is the certainty that comes from? Certainty well, about what? You're saying that the consciousness purely resides you're only in your body, but it cannot be only in your brain. Is that what you're saying? Is that the final argument? Yes, it could be other parts of the body. Okay. It doesn't have to necessarily be only in the brain. Yes, but my question is, your certainty the battery is finished? Okay, leave it, it's alright. My point is, you have so much certainty about such an uncertain topic and I want to know where that certainty comes from. Okay, the reason the certainty comes from is because I do not only believe in the nationalistic world, I believe in the metaphysical world as well. Okay. So as a Muslim, I believe, as, as a Muslim, I believe that we have a soul, yes, and this soul is something which plays an important role for our consciousness, it's not just the brain. So when the soul exists your body when you die, yeah. Then obviously you are dead, so and then we were just talking um, while you were chatting. We were just talking. Yeah. We, we, we were thinking about yeah uh, consciousness and what is consciousness. I mean, I would define it as in um, before you're conscious of being anything, you're conscious of being, right? Sorry, say again. Before you're conscious of being anything, a man living in London, age, whatever, you're conscious of being. It's your you're I conscious am. of being. You're conscious being, of being, as in I am. So uh, I you're, exist. Before you're I conscious am here. of being anything, you're conscious. Oh yeah, of being. I am. I, therefore, I, I exist. I, I, exactly. So you're who was that guy who said that philosopher? Uh, you're uh, conscious of being. So that sense of um, this that this essence of being, that essence of I am. I am alive. Right? Yeah. Before you're conscious yeah, that's, of being. That's awareness. Alive. That's what I said. And we were just talking about where we might think that um, that sense of self, where it is. And there's an idea that it could be outside of us, you know, that it's not actually within us, but it's outside of us. I mean, it, and then how far outside of us? It could be a meter outside of us. It could be our, our aura, our energy. An aura, it might not actually be inside of us. It's that, that sense. I, that no, see, that's that the thing. It's a, it's a all, all that is metaphysical, which yeah. we cannot have evidence for. Precisely. And, and that was. I said I would see yeah. it. And you see, my friend, yes. that is that was the whole argument I was mm. having with this guy okay. because he only believes in the nationalistic world yeah, he doesn't believe yeah. and the, the reason I brought in consciousness is because, really is because conscious, really consciousness is such a good example for a person who doesn't believe yeah, a in, in a metaphysical world <laughs> Yes, but yet yeah, they accept really, it. The reason is... Mate, is the fifth one actually necessary? <laughs> it's it's they got so many cameras. Camera. It's like a press conference. Yeah, man, we're going to go yeah. viral. How are you doing? So, so that, that is the reason I'm saying it. This is a good example. Place, yeah, exactly. That, that's exactly, yeah. So this, the example of this gentleman here, Greg, yes, it's like a person who is who's using a metal detector in order for him to identify plastic. He's using the wrong tool. He's using the tool of science which has limited scope for something that is metaphysical in nature. Yeah. I think he was like your conscious. Fair point. That's yeah. a very fair point. I think he was actually wrong about Einstein too, because I read once Einstein was asked about uh, whether the universe was chaotic, yeah. and he answered, "God doesn't make mistakes." 
And when you've got, and I read the um, the, the Stephen Hawking book, um, A Brief History of Time. Uh, right, and it, yeah, it's a great book. book. And in that, they do talk about God, scientists, because when they're accepting there was a starting point of creation, they're accepting a creator. So they're accepting yeah, but God. But the definition of a creator varies from. <laughs> well, things. absolutely. Yeah. I mean, God's just a word. It could be in. Yeah. So he, his, the universe, his idea of God was not just a load so of he, he was making the assertion that Einstein did not believe in a personal God, but a pantheistic God. Yeah. yeah. So in other words, he's, he's, he's like, he's, uh, he's a theist, he's not an atheist. He's still a theist. If you're a pantheist, if you believe in a pantheistic God, you're, you're a theist. Yeah. You're not an atheist. God, God's just a word. I mean, I could replace the word God. Yeah, with there's different concepts of God. You're right. Source energy, the universe. Yeah. So people get so hung up on the word God. But, you know, when, when you're accepting that, you know, the, the big, big, big Bang theory, a start upon the creation, you are accepting a creator. The only, um, the only op opposing view would be if time and space always was. Yeah, there was no starting point. Absolutely, but they don't believe that science. Science have accepted this idea of the Big Bang theory. So they are accepting a creator of yeah. sorts. Right? And, and, the, and when, the reason you didn't bring the Big Bang theory is that because we know that the Big Bang... It's not recorded anymore, is it? Or... Uh, that's fine, yeah. Oh, okay. As long as you guys are okay with that. Yeah. So, the Big Bang Theory is something which is the most accepted model of the origin of the universe. Okay, The reason he actually didn't want to bring that up is because you know that it has a start and obviously anything that is, uh, like the, anything that is uh, lim uh, limited in scope like the universe, it has an end as well. Because, yeah, so what he did was he actually did this, um, uh, sorry, he actually brought in a model which is the least accepted among the scientists, which is called the cyclic universe. That means it expands and collapses, expands and collapses, for which there is no evidence. So there is no evidence that once a universe collapses, it, it, it starts a cycle again. There's no evidence. So this is just something which is, uh, what do you say, it's, it's more like um, a guess as, at best. Yes, not even, a, not, not even a, a postulation with evidence because when you postulate the theory, you need to substantiate it. The reason many people actually bring this in is because they know that God is eternal, so they have to bring in something eternal to counter it. And what they do, they bring in the least, what do you say, uh, the, the least uh, skeptical, accepted model for the origin of the universe, which is this cyclic universe. So anyone who has read about the cyclic universe, they, they, should, they would know that the, uh, what entropy is something, because of entropy, the, the cycles become bigger and bigger. Yes? And what that means is that at, at one point, these cycles were much smaller as you go back in time. It goes to a point where it says that there, was, there, was one, there was a beginning of the cycle. That means it's not eternal. So even from that perspective, Yes, if he had done his homework, he would know that. He didn't even know the meaning of entropy when I asked him the first time. He said heat or something like that. Was he a scientist? Or? He says he's into physics. But these are all things which you learn in basic it's, physics. It's a hobby, a pastime? Whatever it is. He said he was better than Newton. That's what he said? Yeah, that's what he said. So this is ego. When your ego plays in, then it clouds your judgment. And this is what happens. Unfortunately, when you actually start saying things like, I'm a better scientist, or I know, but I know more I than Newton. No, he wasn't. He was pretty serious about it. What he was. <laughs> yeah. No, he wasn't. No, he was pretty serious about it because what he was saying is that since Newton died, we have had many discoveries. So we know a lot more things than Newton. Obviously, you would, but no one would compare Newton, uh, not being a scientist or not being a great scientist, and saying I'm better than Newton. I mean, this is just ego, if you ask me. So from his perspective, he might be. He might be what? Like from his perspective, he might be better. But from his perspective, he could be like 10 exactly. feet tall, yeah. you know? That doesn't make it true. Yeah, yeah but, it, it, but it's, that's, what, that's what we consider reality. Because reality is, is sub, in a way, subjective. Because Reality is not subjective. Who told you yeah, that? In a way, it is. What do you mean, I'll, in a way? I'll, I will explain to you how it is. Are you real for? Are you for real? No, but it could, there is a possibility that we could be in a simulation. But is it is it more probable? Probably not, because there is there's not really much evidence to say yeah, that there is. Yeah, but where is the... What do you mean? Not much evidence. There is zero evidence that you could just be a figment of my imagination. There's a possibility. It's a possibility. No, it's not a possibility. How, I wouldn't, how would you say, on what basis would you say there's a possibility? Well, wouldn't you agree that all things are equally possible? No. No. There are certain things which are observable facts. You cannot deny Maybe that. Maybe. Do, do you believe otherwise, in other dimensions? Uh, uh, do you other, believe in okay. other dimensions? Do you believe not? that the earth could be flat? Do you believe in other dimensions? Yes, I do. Okay, so then all the possibilities must be equally equal. Not all order. the possible. What do you mean all possible? I mean, do you think it's why? possible for the Earth to be flat? 
How is that relevant? Yeah, but you said everything is possible. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe in some dimension. So you could be a is. flat earther. I'm speaking to. Well, See what I mean? If we're talking about reality, what no, you need to. You need to, you need to what, what look. You need to. You need to accept one thing. There are things which are real, and there are things which are unreal. Okay. But how, but how do you define that? It's, 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 it's very simple. I mean, if you do not, then what is the point of us even talking? If things are unreal. But, that's the whole but you wouldn't history. know. That's the whole you wouldn't know, though. History. Would you know? If then you are. You're you far, if you guys don't even know your existence, then you are far removed from your reality of this world. Define what you can define define is real. Well, anything, what is real? Uh, anything which you can perceive okay. as being factual. For example, so if I, I were to ask can you, I ask you a question. Do you know of the experiment with the hand? Do you know that experiment? Yeah. Where they pull a yeah. fake hand. Right. Which you're, you're perceiving is a touch, right? But that's not even a real hand. So how is that real? How do you feel the sensation? How is that real? How do you feel the sensation? Yeah, if it's like not said, real. It's, it's because and then when you hit it with a hammer, they take their hand out. It's because right, because they feel the pain. No, no, no. Is they, it real? They don't feel the pain. Real or no, no. They don't feel the pain. What, they? what they do is the reason is because of them, of, of, because they're frightened of being hurt. Something frightened of something unreal, so it doesn't. Let, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me tell you what. If you, uh, if you have been indoctrinated to such an extent, where you, you fear certain things. For example, many people fear, fear the darkness. Yes? Just because you switch off the light, they feel afraid. Why? Because this is the way they have been indoctrinated to such an extent. So are you... No, no, it's not a religion. So in their mind, in their mind, the, the fear is real. It's like this whole thing. Wait, 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 it's not real. No, no, it's real. In their mind, they, they think the that the fear is real. It's the, it's the, but the reality, but the reality it's the, it's the, is the opposite. Exactly. The illusion, the illusion or the concept that they've created in the mind. Remember, they've created this. It's not real. They have so, created couldn't this. you have created this? You could not. If you, look, if you guys do not, if you don't know how to differentiate between reality and something which is an illusion, then you do not even exist. It's <laughs> the definition of truth. Truth. Truth and reality is truth. Well, so the reality is truth. Whether you believe it or not, the reality will exist. So, for example, there are many flat, look, look, there are many people who believe that the Earth is flat. Yes, but the reality is different. Yes, we know, we know that unless you guys are flat Earth as well. So, even though they say this is a fact, by the way, they do say it's a fact. Those flat Earthers, they say, yes, the Earth is flat, but is that real? So, just because they believe something is a fact. Doesn't make it real. You're getting too caught on the technicality. Yeah, I'm not. I'm giving you demonstrations. No, no, I'm, I'm with you. But I just want you to branch out, open your brain a little bit, and just open the possibility that maybe just have a conversation. You know? My friend, if That's you want to branch thing. out to where you don't know the difference between reality and uh, unreal, then that is something that is your prerogative, not mine. Oh no, I'm just, <laughs> it's an invitation. It's, an, it's simply an invitation. If you want to have that, I know you invited me, but I reject your invitation. That's all right. That because I'm in touch with my reality. If you're not, Fair that's enough. a different thing. Fair enough. Maybe you should go see a doctor. I, maybe. Maybe. I'm no, so honestly, we have to. Because <laughs> you see, if, if, if human beings do not understand the reality and something which is just an illusion, mm -hmm. then you deny everything. You wouldn't be accepting anything. What? You would be a super skeptical individual who would never have peace of mind. Because you think everything is unreal. Is my mom real? Is my dad real? Are my children real? Is my family real? You know, like, where does it end? There's got to be a definition. That's what I was talking about. Reality. reality as truth. Was that? And how would you define it? Yeah, I mean, no. There's got to be a definition. Yeah, so I would define reality as truth. And how, how no, but who's reality? Who? Like I said, the flat earth's reality is different to yours and mine. Exactly. But it's yes, but that doesn't mean it's the truth. But it's not truth. Can I ask to you a question? Whom? Do we all see well, Okay, okay. Do just one sec, just one sec. Just one sec. To whom is not the truth? To us or to them? But answer me this. Do we all experience different realities? Do we all experience different realities? Do we all experience different realities? The similarities in the realities. No, 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 no. Answer my question with a yes or no. Not, do we... not in everything. Not in everything. Okay. There are certain things, for example, if I asked you, okay. if I asked you, are you a human? But we're all playing a different What? Movie. You don't know you are human or not? Are you? A could you be a monkey? So it's subjective. You could. Who knows? You could be. The possibilities are Then you don't know what's a monkey. <laughs> if you don't know the difference between a monkey and a human, then you got a lot. You need a lot of help, my brother. So that's a good point, actually. So what's that? What is objective truth? Okay, so object, I'll give you an example. I'll demonstrate an objective truth to you. By the way, you asked a question that our realities are different. Very good, okay? So I'll give you an example. Imagine you go to a room where the temperature is a bit cold for you. You enter the same room, but for you it's perfectly room temperature. It's not cold, not too warm, not too hot, 
it's just perfect for you. You both enter the same room. Now, how do I ascertain what the temperature of the room is? Any guesses? Thermometer. Thank you. That is the objective truth. Because the thermometer reading, regardless of what you feel or what you feel, will give me an objective. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, then will give me your, the objective what? truth and the, and okay. the exact okay. measure okay. of the temperature a, of the room. What is your thermometer? Does that answer your question? What is the thermometer Depending that you use calibrate to, to measure so. this? What is the thermometer? Don't try to. What is the thermometer that you? What is the thermometer that you use to measure this? What, uh, what gives you the objective? Well, well, oh, you mean measure what? To yes, measure the right reality. Yes. Well, let me put this one. Oh my God! Let me, let me, Seriously? Let me put this. Yes, so, okay. Answer my question. Yes, because so three of us. You never answer good questions because you know it's going to humble you. But you, you think your question is good? Well, whether it's good or not. But I've already answered your question. Did you not? Look, my reality. The reason you know that thermometer. Did you believe in the measurement of the thermometer? Yes. You did. Why is that? But then I asked no, no, you a question. No, no. Why is that? Why did you believe that thermometer reading? Because that's a one-dimensional one measure. I didn't ask you, I'm asking him. Oh, you're so yes, I am. You've got your answer. I actually want to get rid of you. Well, it's not going to work. What's, what's, the, what's the answer? answer? <laughs> yeah. So why did you believe the thermometer reading? Because it's unidirectional. Because it's objective. Yeah. Because? It's objective. Why is it objective? You tell me. Well, you said it's objective, so tell me why it's objective. Because you know what objective means, right? Yeah, what is it? I don't have to explain why it's objective. No, no, why? Yeah, what is the objective definition in this case? The objective definition of this case is that you measure the heat with the term thermometer. No, but why is it objective? Because you can prove it. You know why? Because it doesn't matter where you take that evidence, it is something that everyone will accept because there is no bias here in terms of your wait, wait, of your subjective understanding of the temperature of the room or your so it doesn't matter where you take it, that same what do you say? That same instrument is going to be the evidence for anyone and everyone, doesn't matter who it is. Okay? Now that's the reason it's objective. Now, without you being conscious of your environment, will you be able to take that reading? May I think you're fumbling yourself. No, I'm not. Sorry. I'm not. Answer the question. I, 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 need to, I need to understand the question. I need this to make sense. You don't answer the What? Your consciousness? <laughs> no. Which part doesn't make sense? You're, that you being conscious to be reading, Showtime's reading. If, I, if, I, if, you, like, if you were just, is that the reason you're here? <laughs> that's why I'm standing behind. You. Yeah, that's where you belong. <laughs> okay, but carry on. But it's a clown. you might have grown up by now. So no but why are you standing next to a clown? Then? Because I enjoy entertainment. <laughs> Good. So you are in a circus. Beat that one. Oh, at the moment. But I'm the ringmaster, so you left. shut up. Yes, to my left. <laughs> I'm the ring master, shut up. Okay, so go, so go on. So it's a okay, my, yeah, okay. go on. It's a go question. On. So there's five of us stood here now in a yeah. conversation. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we're all, we're all on the same kind of uh, space, time, mm -hmm. continuum, right? the same kind of dimension. Suppose. But we're all playing a completely different movie in our heads. Mm -hmm. You know, your yeah, belief exactly. is different to my belief. So where's the objective truth there? Who decides what the objective truth is? Where's the thermometer? Is? That is, is it? Look, look, Can when you, when you actually, like when you, it's when you, when you, when, when you are unsure about your reality, about whether you live in a real world, whether you yourself are real, then I think you're far lost and cut okay. off from the reality. Well, you know, question. Let me, Where is the certainty? Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Put, Go ahead. Let me put this. One you were pretty way. certain about the reading of the instrument, which is no, called actually, the thermometer, what, without you being what, real what, about your what, own what, self. What I was certain put, of is the, is the uncertainty. I'm certain of the uncertainty. Are you certain you exist? Do I exist? Do you exist? See what Are I mean? Here? So, this guy's super skeptical. Yeah, absolutely. So, <laughs> I so think he needs help. So I could say that. I, um, I could say we don't don't believe a word I say. Yeah. Speak for yourself. I'm coming you from. Don't need any help. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. See, that's the first not, problem. Not in identifying not between in any, the reality in and in unreal. Not admitting so, the problem is the first so problem. So I could say. So you admit you don't even know you exist. <laughs> No, but there is a difference between a well, what happened to that grin? and an individual reality. <laughs> Look so, at that grin. So I could, I could no, no, honestly, a person, well, a person needs help seriously if they cannot differentiate well, between this. the real world and something which is imaginary. Well, let me say because this. that is called psychotic problems. Well, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me say this. I could say, you know, don't yeah. believe the word don't I say because I'm coming from my truth. I'm not representing from myself as telling the truth, but my truth. And you would have your truth. 
And who's to say one is right and one is wrong? You know, we're all coming from yeah. our truth and our, our perspective. What are you talking about? So Which so, because there are, this conversation is an argument. Well, it's a conversation. By the way, I'm talking to him. Stop I'm, interrupting. I think I'm saying. This okay, is go on. The arrogance, the man. My question is to him, him to not him, to you. Him, to him. So which reality you are you talking about? I think I'm saying that. You which reality are you talking about? Well, you don't okay, see this you I think I'm saying that. It's, what? It, it can only be subjective truth. Comes. Why? Why is truth subjective? Truths? I well, just give you the example. I gave you the example. Truth? Truth? What is you the have your truth. truth. I, I think you're just here to joke. Right. No, okay. You know, you know. Initially, I thought he was someone who was who was someone who's worth talking to. But now you have, I've realized that you're not even aware that you exist or not. So okay, so go find that out first. I think what I'm saying is it's yeah. subjective truth only. Oh, no, 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 no. Do you, do you remember that I gave you when you asked me about the subjective? Well, right? How do you differentiate right between you objective truth and subjective truth? I gave you the example of the thermometer. Do you believe that is subjective truth? Well, it's it's objective. It's if it's independent. No, no. Is it an objective truth? The reading well, of the thermometer. In, 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 in that case, in that case, I'd have to say yes. But what's the objective? There you go. That's your answer. In then. our beliefs and our, our perspective. Okay. Now you're talking about the beliefs. See, now you now this is a different yeah, uh, a different question. topic. Exactly. So that's there right. are things you will agree which are objective truths out there which yeah. we all recognize. For example, the temperature reading from a thermometer. Okay. This is an objective truth. So the answer is subjective. No, subjective no, no. Truth. Not every truth no is subjective. Okay. No there are truths which are which, right, which, which are objective. For example, if I ask you about the shape of the earth, you're going to tell me it's flat. You really like this. What flat if I believe that? Right? Yeah. What do you say it's flat? Well, I mean, my, my so these are so beliefs, these are things right? which so we all right. accept because sometimes what you see, yes, it's not. Is that? I want it No, no, we're ignoring him anyway. Don't worry. You always say we, is that the royal we? It is, yeah. Right. So what I'm saying, what I'm saying. the royal shit. <laughs> well, that will be you, <laughs> which I'm ignoring, thank you. So what I'm saying so here is that. Ignoring it that but, way. By the way, have you, <laughs> do you believe that objective truth or you don't? Well, I, I, I guess there must be an objective truth. No, no, don't truth, guess. Tell I, me, do I you see, believe or not? I see subjective Hello. truth everywhere. Do you not see objective truth at all? Well, I'll tell you what I did see the other week. I was okay. watching, I was watching, uh, I was watching Fox News, right? And it, it struck... Of all the news in the, in the exactly, world. Exactly, exactly, yeah. I don't know why I did, but I did. Okay, go on. But it struck me that there's, there's, there's no difference between Fox News and CNN. They're exactly the same. Yeah. They're just kind of commentating on the world through their perspectives. Yeah. Yeah. But who's right and who's wrong? CNN have got no no uh, no right to say Fox is wrong. And Fox have got no right to say CNN is wrong. But they're both on completely opposing. Yeah, but news can be right or wrong. We don't well, deny it, that. It's going through their filter. It's going through their perspective. They're, they're commentating on the world as they see it. But who's right and who's wrong? It's no, but completely there, subjective. But there, there are instances where, filter, for, for example, if they are reporting on say an uh, an earthquake in Japan, both of them reporting, you cannot say who's wrong or who's right if they have video evidence for you. Well, they, they come through their filter. They come through their filter. They're, they're well, whatever it is, if, there, if, if you have multiple reports of an earthquake happening report, in Japan, the yes? Earth and, we all, and we all died. Another report will say that plate tectonics yeah. stuck and exactly. judged. Exactly. Exactly. It's not a circus. We are talking about, we are talking about an earthquake. Very, I don't okay? think you can have a neutral kind of event because it's always got to go through the filter of whoever's seeing No, but then where do you, you where do you stop? Well, let, let me finish. Yeah, where do you draw the line about because reality and unreal? Well, hold on, let me, let me finish that. Because, because we, we put energy and meaning into stuff. So we're really experiencing ourselves, aren't we? Because everything has energy that we've put into it. We make it something. What we make it is what it becomes. It's kind of impossible. What do you mean, energy? What do you mean you put neutral. energy? I don't understand. Well, you, it's kind of, everything, you, everything you see, you put some energy and meaning into. You make it something. It's impossible to see anything because you're telling stories about everything that happens to you. Right? You look back and... Are you saying you, that you do not believe anything that you see? I'm not saying I don't believe things that I see, but I... I what create, do you mean you're putting energy? I don't I, understand I, what you I mean I create a story. We all create stories. No, no, we are not about, things we are not about arbitrary, random things. I'm saying if you see something, for example, do you have children? No. Do you have parents? Parents? Yeah. I think I do have parents. Yeah. I mean, are they alive? That's what I meant. Uh, yes. Yeah. So, if, do you do you believe they are your parents? Well, Mr. This is gone away from yes. the, the point we were just. Making. No, it is because I'm telling you about objective truth. Like wait, wait, wait. I'm telling you about objective truth. No one here will deny that they came from. Yeah, they came from a male and a female. Yeah. No one will deny that. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm saying is that there are certain truths which are objective. No one should. No one can deny. But if you're going to question, me, wait, wait, wait. If you're going to question each and everything that you see as being 
subjective. How do you it's learn if you don't let, ask let questions? Me, you ask me. How do we learn you if you don't Did ask I tell you not to ask questions? You but I'm asking you, I, what I'm saying is do is not... not to question no, no, it's no, no. When did I say don't question anything? Believe it all. That's what you just said. Don't be silly. Look, I didn't you, say that. You just asked I me. said do not ask silly I questions. You just asked me about energy. Don't ask silly questions that you exist or not. You just asked me about energy and meaning, right? Let me explain. Let me explain what I mean by that. So Bend down, Junior. Any really disempowering story that, I, like I just told you, I invested in this venture in China. It went pop, I lost all my money. It's a really painful and disempowering story to tell myself. So I, I changed the story. And I started telling myself the story that I gave the money away. Which I did, I gave him the money, it's true. But I gave the money away. And feel how different that feels. It's a really... So you can... You oh, can oh, yeah. Let me finish. It, it's, um, it's a really empowering story there. Giving six figures away, giving a hundred grand of, yeah. uh, uh, of money away. It feels really good, it's empowering. It's like, empowering, but you still know the reality, right? Well, the it doesn't change the reality, has it? But the point is, it's, it, it's a neutral event, but it can't be a neutral event. I've always got to tell myself a story about what happened. Yeah, but my friend, it doesn't change. You haven't changed the reality, have you? What you have just done is, you have somehow, uh, I don't know, reconciled your conscience with the fact that you have lost that money, but now you have, in order for you to be at peace, you have changed the narrative. But it's still by you, true. by it's you, true. No, 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 no. By you changing the, by you, by you changing the narrative, and calling a loss as charity doesn't change the fact that it's still a loss. But it makes me feel better. Exactly it's, it's my point. Story. So what you have done is, in order for you to feel better, in order for your yeah. peace of mind, you change the narrative, but, the, but the reality yes, hasn't changed, has it? I agree, but that's not the point. The point I'm making is, you can't just have a neutral event. There's always a story about it. That's my point. That's not true. It is true. That's not true. Like I'm I said, if I if I see video footage of an earthquake happening, it doesn't matter what narrative you change. Yes, I will never say that. Yes, I see an earthquake. I see these buildings collapsing. I see this earth being swallowing the cars, the streets, and everything. You cannot deny that thing did not happen. No, no. But what you will do is you'll you'll have preconceived ideas about what it means an earthquake. And that will come into play. How does that change the fact that well, earthquake takes place? Because it's take a story. Place? It's always going to be a story. What's the name, by the way? Paul. Paul. How does that change the fact? Doesn't matter what story I spin, what story any newspaper spins, or any news media well, channel example. spins. It wasn't my how, example. Yeah, it's but example. I'm telling you that this but, is objective my, reality. You cannot yeah, but deny. My, but my, yeah, but my point is, there's always an energy, a meaning we put into something. You can't just have a neutral event and leave it as it is. No, it is. You're involved. It is. It's part of you. You're going to make a story. My friend, doesn't it. matter how you spin the story. Ideas that come into play. It's impossible. Okay. Just be neutral. When you, Everything when you, story. when you see something that is. Well, that's what I mean about. By the way, do you believe that your existence is real, or is that a story spun that you believe that you just exist and you have made yourself believe that? And that is the reason you exist. Which one is it? Do you exist in reality, or is your con your subconscious? I don't know. Maybe even your conscious mind has told you that you just exist because you tell yourself so. Well, I am. I'm aware I'm being. I'm, I'm aware. Do you I exist? Am. Yes. Good. Did you I'm, convince I'm a, yourself that you exist? Did I convince myself? That yes. I exist. I, I'm just aware I am. Exactly. So it is your reality, right? Yeah. Your existence. You haven't convinced yourself. You know it's your reality. Yeah, but that's not. I mean, that that's that's my deeper essence of being. I mean, the way I experience the world, you know, through my my physical form, my senses, my my. But it's uh, not just you like experiencing. My, my mind. It's your family experiencing. It's your friends experiencing. Way. They all experience you, Paul, exist. You see what I mean? So it's not just your subjective experience, but it is a, it's something that is objectively proven by other people that you do exist. But I know... You're I not have, a figment I of know, your imagination or somebody else's imagination. But I know what I'm experiencing is, is myself. It's, I'm, I'm experiencing... Yeah, but I'm saying it's beyond that. It's I mean, not just you. Have you seen the, the guy in the gorilla suit experiment? No. Have you not seen it? Was it? Is it a movie? The, the guy in the gorilla suit experiment. Experiment. Do you know what confirmation bias is? Yeah. Confirmation bias, right? You, you, you don't see with your eyes, you see with your brain. Your brain is giving you But Paul, did you just hear what I said? I said your existence is not just experienced by you, but it's experienced by your parents, by your family, by your friends, by me, by this gentleman here, okay? Yeah. So I wouldn't say that you're a figment of your imagination. I would say you're real. But I'm not saying that. 
No, but that's what I'm saying. I'm saying this is the objective reality which you cannot deny. But you would ask, yeah, but you're asking me how, um, you know, what, what, I, what I believe. No, I'm asking you what is the objective truth here? That you exist, which you cannot deny, which, well, I know which I your exist. friends cannot deny, which your parents cannot deny. I know deny. I exist, I know I am, but the way I experience my, 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 my world. Yeah, but that's reality. a different, no, no, well, they're two different no, things. Well, that's what you're saying. That's no, you're saying. I'm saying what you, that you as an individual, your existence is not just experienced by you, but by others too. Yeah. So I wouldn't call it a subjective experience. I'm not asking you about your feelings. I'm asking you about your, your, your existence. But they're experiencing something else. They're not experiencing. No, no, no. Experience. They're experiencing they're Paul. A movie in their head to the one I'm playing. Okay, so I'm looking I at when you look yourself in the mirror, and the way I'm looking at you, do we see something different? Yes. Yeah. What is different? Oh, absolutely. What absolutely. is different? When I look at myself in the mirror. I'm not I asking about your feelings. Remember, well, no, I, is I, your I, external I, I, appearance? I know. I know. What okay, I good. see is completely different to what anybody else sees. So what do you see when you see Paul? We're all playing different movies. No, no. What do you see when you see Paul in the mirror? Same thing. Thank you, that's what I'm saying. Of course we're seeing different things. Different things how? Of course we are. Well, I'm, 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 physically, I'll, physically, I'm I'll saying say physically. It, I'll, look, I'll say it again. Okay, we are on. experiencing ourselves, essentially. You see, once again, I'm not asking you me me the, what you feel. I'm saying, what let do you see? Point. Hear me out, Paul. When you look at yourself in the mirror, I'm not asking you what do you feel inside. That's not my question. So listen to the question. When you see yourself, yeah. how do, would, you, would you describe yourself physically different to when I see you, yes. when I see you, yes. or when the people yes. who are watching you yes. on, on, on a video yeah, yes see you. Okay, so physically, how are you different? I'm different. How? I'm, I've seen people in the mirror. I've seen people... I'm asking people. about you. About, forget I've, about other people. Well, I'm making the point. I'm answering the question. Yeah. In, in, in yourself, the about yourself. Are you talking about the differentiation between you seeing yourself in the mirror as like a mirrored uh, version of yourself compared to what we see? So when you see yourself in the mirror, you're seeing both. a reflection of yourself. You're both, both what? Both. Both. Both what? Yeah. I mean, physically, I mean, your appearance. Even, even physically. No, no, physically. I see reflections of other people in the mirror, and they look different. So when you're yeah, but I'm not asking about so other people. Both. I'm asking about you. I know you are. But ha I'm answering you the said, question. You said you said that it's different to when I see you and when you see, see yourself in the mirror. So you should at least point one thing which you see different when you look at yourself in the mirror to what I or anybody else looking at you is different. What when is the difference? When you see well, you in the mirror, the and I see what is you that? in the mirror, if I look at you in the mirror and you see you in the mirror, I'm looking at the same reflection as what you can see. There's no difference. Is that what you're talking about? Are you talking about when you look at yourself in the mirror, when I look at you, you're seeing a mirrored version of yourself? Right, I'm talking about both. Is that the difference? You're no, talking I'm about? talking about both. What do you mean, what's both? What do you mean by both? But if, if I... I mean, we're, we're playing different moves in our heads, right? So when I see... No, we're not. We're talking about physical world, appearance. No, you're talking about subjective Okay, Paul, experience. permission to take your picture. Why? Okay. <laughs> is, is that what you see in the mirror when you look right now in the mirror? Or do you see a different Paul? I just took your picture. It looks like me, but it's probably not exactly the same. So what part is different? He doesn't even believe the camera now. I mean, forget me. You know, this is what I wanted to prove about the objective truth. So when you're, when you're far removed from the reality... This is the point no, no, Paul, Paul, this is the point I'm making. That when you look yourself yeah, in the mirror, the wait, wait, wait. We started off no, 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 no. We are talking about, we are talking about objective this truth. Remember? I was no, it was a point. You said every truth can be subjective. That was your point initially. And, and I told you, an and I told you that I'm. Yeah. Let me no, I did let, let you make many you examples. Take, in fact. Conversation down another lane. So you're saying you look, you look different now. Yeah. What part is different? Which part is different? Why do you believe that? There's a lot different. Which is different? But this is not the conversation we were having. No, but is this an objective truth that you look like this or you don't? I, I, this is not the conversation we were having. Can you answer the question, please? Well, it's, it's not the conversation I wanted to have. It's not the because you seem to deny even your own reflection no. in a mirror or in a picture. No. You just said that is not you. That is not you look different. No, I didn't say that. I said it looks like me. That's what I said. So you when asked, you say like me, you said is that exactly you? And so I is that Paul or is that somebody else? Well, it looks like me. No, 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 no but is that but Paul or is it somebody else? But why are we having this conversation? See what I mean? This is not the conversation. When you deny having. objective twist, truth, yeah, twist, twist, you know, why, why then you will you will deny. Man? Look, look. What I wanted to demonstrate here, you will deny your own self when you deny objective realities. Which is like a picture of yourself, which I took a few, a minute ago actually. 
Yes? And I yet was, you denied. I was denied. going to tell you about the guy in the gorilla suit exposed. Okay, go on, tell me. Confirmation bias. Yeah, go on, tell me about so the guy. So we don't see with our eyes, we see with our brain, right? And the brain, confirmation bias, it gives us information that proves we're right. That's confirmation bias. Not in everything. Yeah. So Not in everything. The, the guy in the gorilla suit experiment, right? Yeah. They did an experiment on, they had two groups of people throwing a basketball to each other. And they had people watching and monitoring. And they asked them to count how many times the basketball was thrown. The one group of people wearing white shirts to another group of people wearing black shirts. And they did. They, 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 uh, they, they counted. At the end of the experiment, he asks them how many times they throw the ball. The people say, oh, six. And he says, well, what about the guy in the gorilla suit? And they go, what? And he rewinds the tape. And in the middle of them throwing the ball, the guy in the gorilla suit walks into the frame, does a dance, and then walks back out. Nobody saw it. Why? Because the brain discards so much information of what we don't need to be aware of and only delivers to you what you need to kind of know, what you need to be aware of. That's confirmation bias. Yeah, you're, but does that happen in you're every getting single... What you expect to see, you're getting yourself. Yeah, but Paul, does you're that happen in every yourself. single incident? Well, or was it... Was it, the, was it possible when they were playing basketball, they were focusing on the, on the task they were doing and not every, anything else? It's like, thing. wait, wait, R like right now, when I took your picture in front of you and you still say this looks like me, instead of saying that is me. You see, this is not confirmation it's bias. This is, this is called denial. It's the same thing. It's not the same thing. The, the, the point You're not busy with anything else other than talking with, to me and looking at the picture. The point is you see with your brain. So the same your eyes play, here, you're not seeing. Are you saying your eyes don't play an important role? Your, your, your eyes, brain, of course, processes everything. The, the for example, eyes send the information for the example, brain, in the, the dark, it. yeah, in the dark, there's so much being discarded. You don't need to see. So I know, but but not everything, like I said, to prove you're right. Not but everything. Definitely yourself. not everything. And that's why I said. Then you will be denying every single reality. Yourself. If that is your perception, then you will not accept any reality in this world, like the way you denied your own picture. Oh, that's what I'm saying. It's subjective. You're experiencing yourself. It's not. Two it's objective. Plus, it's two plus two four. It's objective because if I show this picture to anyone here, other than Paul himself, they will all say it's you, except Paul. What does that tell us? That you are in denial of your own reality. I'm not saying there isn't an objective reality. I'm Thank you. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Finally. Well, that's what I asked you. What that was. Okay. So, what is objective started. reality for you? That's what I asked you to start with. Now, I gave you an example of objective reality, like the thermometer, like your own picture. What is it? Give me an example. No, no, from you. Paul, I want to know from you, what is an objective reality? You do, but you're not answering any questions I'm putting to you. I've answered all your questions. What do you mean I haven't answered? Go and check the camera if you don't believe me. We started off this conversation. With what? I asked what objective reality is within us. So we're playing different moves in our heads right here, right now. The three of us are stuck here now in the conversation. We're playing a different movie in our heads. What I'm seeing is different to what you're seeing. So where's the objective reality there? I just gave you an example. You gave us the example of the... Of your picture. Of your picture. Which you denied. I didn't deny it. I said that you said it's me. like me. You didn't say, sorry, it's like Paul. Yeah. You did not say even it's Paul. But you're seeing different to what I'm seeing. That's got different meanings. Okay, I think, I think you really need to understand the difference between subjective and objective. What That's, you're saying... When what, you look at that, you're, you're feeling something else. You're no, feeling something different no, no, no. to me, right? There are things, for example, the thermometer experiment which See, I gave when I you... look at that picture, it's, it's full of meaning and energy that I put into it. Is it Paul? It means no. something to me. Is it Paul? When you look at it, it doesn't mean anything to Is me. Is that you Paul or not? Me. It's me. Oh, it finally. Like look, finally we got an answer. Until now, what was he saying? Like me. Yeah, but we're going beyond. The thing is, we're, we're, the conversation's going <laughs> okay. beyond. I, I, think, I think we have proved the point here. The that there are certain deep, things which are really objective getting, truths really you cannot deny. If you're going to keep no. denying objective reality, then you will be really hyper skeptical. What's that? I'm trying to set the conversation deeper, but you're not really getting the depth of the conversation. No, no, because if you're going to deny. You're keeping it on a superficial level. My friend, if you're going to deeper, deny deeper. objective truths, then your deeper conversation is meaningless. If you're going to no, deny no, reality no, itself, then your deeper conversation. conversation, sorry, your deeper understanding of anything is irrelevant. We're if you're going to deny the most basic, fundamental, objective truth. We're having two different conversations. No, we're talking about reality. We're afraid we're having two different conversations. No, we are not. Yeah, no, I mean, the way I So if I, if I ask this gentleman, if I took his picture, okay, let's, let's try this experiment. And let's see if he's like, like me. <laughs> yeah, per I mean, permission to take your picture, sir. I mean, it's not... I mean, it's, you're, not, you're not really getting what I'm saying. You're not kind of going deep enough. It's, it's a deeper kind of... Yeah, but if you're going to deny reality, mashallah. Well, that, what, is, what, what is reality? 
Give me a definition of reality. That's me, that. Are you sure? I think so. I think no, no, I don't think. Do you think that's him? I don't think so. No. Okay. He... No, no. It might be me. It might be me. Give us a definition of reality. I mean, it looks like me. We can delete that, mate. Yeah. <laughs> or, or truth. I just, I mean, I, I respect you. You, you, you. You're great, but to be fair, with all due respect, we're having different conversations. No, we are not, my friend. Going much deeper, and you're not able to go deep. Look, you're keeping it. At a I don't mind going deeper. deeper. I don't mind having a philosophical I try. discussion. I try. That's fine. I don't I mind having a philosophical it. discussion, but if you're going to deny that's reality, then, what it is. then every other discussion go is going to be irrelevant. At a superficial kind of level, I want to go deeper. And I'm, I'm asking. No, but you were denying even the superficial. No, I was no. I showed you on picture for so long, you kept saying, it's like me, it's like me. I mean, what am I going to say to that? It's a different conversation. It's not. No, it is. You're not quite getting where I'm going with it. All right, no problem. So what is the deeper thing you wanted to do? Something about energy you said earlier. Energy and meaning. I said about the energy meaning. You didn't understand what that was. No, I did. In fact, I agreed with you. I said, when you talk about consciousness, it is possible it even goes beyond the limit of your physical body. It's have okay. I have no issue with... Okay. Saying that is a possibility, but we still. It's all right. I enjoy talking. I enjoy yeah. talking. Likewise. Nice, nice to see you. Sir. All right, Paul. Nice take care. Yeah. Take care, all right. Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. Jazakallah khair for watching. Assalamu alaikum, warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.